is this a movie good enough to review for October near Halloween? Well, this movie did come out in October, so good enough for me. Yeah, I'm going to review the 2014 animated movie, The Book of Life. So the plot of this movie is where there are these two best friends, Manolo, played by Diego Luna, and Joaquin, played by Channing Tatum. And they're, they've been best friends their whole life, and they fight over this girl named Maria, played by Zoe Saldana. And... And throughout, they're like they're both different. Manolo wants to be a musician, while Joaquin wants to be a bullfighter. And one day, Manolo sacrifices his life, and he is transported to the day, the land of the dead. And there are these other two gods. Um, one's the god of the land of the living, and one's the land of the dead, and one's the other place. I it's been a while since I've seen this movie. And they place their bets on who's going to marry Maria, and it's all a big adventure and a big love triangle. <laughs> this is a really good movie. I really liked this movie. It's very underrated, if you ask me. Okay, maybe not. When the trailer for Coco came out, everyone was talking about this movie, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. The story... Yeah, I guess it's kind of basic, you know, two guys fighting over a girl, and the one you're supposed to root for goes on this big journey, but a lot of it is really creative, and there's a lot of stuff they do with it, especially with the land of the dead, and all the different ones, like, there's the land of the remembered, and the land of the forgotten, and they're, like, two different worlds, and it's, it looks amazing. The animation is, wow, the animation is great. The director of this movie was um, the guy who direct, who created that old Nickelodeon cartoon, El Tigre, and the style does look similar, I'll give him that. It has pretty talented voice cast, Diego Luna, Channing Tatum, Zoe Saldana, Ron Perlman, uh, some Cheech Marin, some really good actors, and it I really enjoyed it, and it's really visually stunning. There's, there's some. It's kind of a musical, I guess, because one of the main character is a musician. And, but some of the songs are actually pretty good, and it's got a bunch of. And I do like my fair share of Mexican culture. I and I think this movie really embraced it, just like Coco. And yeah, but I don't know which I prefer, Coco or this. But they're both good films. I. Do you think it's a really underrated film? I I guess you don't really have to watch it around Halloween because other than the Land of the Dead thing, it's really not Halloween-ish. But I guess if you want to watch a really underrated film, I think this is a good watch. I think it's underrated. So that's my review of The Book of Life. See you later.